Good evening, church. Welcome to today's devotion. Today is the fourth day of our week of prayers. And today we speak on the topic prayer. And we are reading from Luke chapter 18, from verses 1 to 8. Luke 18, 1 to 8. Then Jesus told his disciples a parable to show them that they should always pray and not give up. He said, in a certain town, there was a judge who neither feared God nor cared what people thought. And there was a widow in the town who kept coming to him with a plea, grant me justice against my adversary. For some time he refused, but finally he said to himself, even though I don't fear God or care what people think, yet because this widow keeps bothering me, I will see that she gets justice so that she won't eventually come and attack me. And the Lord said, Listen to what the unjust judge says. And will not God bring about justice for his chosen ones who cry out to him day and night? Will he keep putting them off? I tell you, he will see that they get justice and quickly. However, when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on the earth? So from our reading, we are going to look at four points. And the first point we look at is Jesus tells his disciples they should always pray. Not sometimes, not when they feel like, not when everything is going well for them, not when they are in crisis, but always pray. What is the one thing that we always do as human beings? We always breathe. We breathe to stay alive. And in the same way, we should pray to stay alive spiritually. So Jesus calls his disciples to pray always, and we are also being called upon to pray always. And Paul also said in 1 Thessalonians 5.17 that we should pray continually, not seasonally, not intermittently, but continually. So as a church, we need to keep on praying all the time. The second point we look at is Jesus telling his disciples not to give up. That means to persevere. So what we see here is that if prayer was something easy for them to do, then Jesus will not be encouraging them not to give up. But prayer is not easy in the sense that it doesn't work on our timetable or our time schedule. No, does it, is, is it like a vending machine or a drive through Prayer God works according to God's timetable and Whenever we pray, we trust God to answer according to his will and according to his time. So when we pray, we need to have the waiting spirit to be able to wait on God for an answer. And also when we pray, we need to trust that God will answer our prayers. And we, we should not try to help God or try to steer things in a certain direction but we leave God to answer our prayers. Otherwise, we end up creating a lot of Ishmaels in our lives who are not the promise of God, who are not the purpose of God for us, rather than having Isaacs that God has promised to give us. So let's learn to persevere. Let's learn to keep praying and trust God to answer our prayers. The third point we see is that Jesus said that the judge did not fear God or did he consider what people thought about him? So what I see here is that the, the woman or the widow approached the judge for, for justice, not because of the, the, the judge's character, but only because of his power. But when we pray, we don't pray just because of God's power, even though he's an omnipotent God, but we also pray we appeal to God's character because we know that God is loving, God is kind, God is gracious. And we also appeal to our relationship with God through Jesus Christ. Because Jesus says that, will not God grant justice to his chosen ones? So who are these chosen ones that Jesus speaks about? Peter reminds us in 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9, that we are the chosen generation we are, the, we are God's special possession that we may declare the praise of him who called us out of darkness into his marvelous light. So our prayers are not a burden to God, 
like the, the widow's uh, request was a burden to the judge. But when we pray, God takes delight in hearing our prayers and he takes delight in answering us to display his, his power and his glory in our lives. And the third point we look at is that Jesus said that when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on the earth? So what is faith? What is faith? Faith, as we know from Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1, is that faith is a substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And verse 6 says that whoever comes to God should believe that God exists and is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. In prayer, we exercise our faith in God as we, 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 we unlock God's power and God's promises that he has made for us even in Christ. The Bible says that in Christ Jesus, the promises of God are yes and amen. So whenever we come to God in prayer, we are laying hold of God's promises for us and we are, we are trusting God. We are trusting God to do for us what he has promised to do for us through his son. So I hope that as we are in this week of prayer and fasting, we will remind ourselves of the need for prayer and the power of prayer and the fact that God calls us to pray and continue in our prayer life as, as Christians. We, we thank God for this opportunity and, we, and I, I hope that we have been encouraged to pray and we will continue to pray not only in this week, but in the days ahead of us. So for today, in terms of our prayer topics, we are praying for revival and spiritual awakening. And we pray that God will fill all of us with a passion to see the lost saved. So let's pray for that. And we also pray for the nation of Somalia. Let's pray for peace in that country. We also pray for the Tabor Christian community. We pray for, for God's guidance on Jeff in planning the content of preaching and Bible study. For our church ministries, we pray for, for the fellowship. We pray for discovering IBC. We pray for men's prayer meetings. We also pray for your career, for God's glory. And we also pray for the prime time. And also for our missionaries, we pray for Peter and Didi Hagner. We also pray for, uh, for Vladimir and Lena Yakim. So let's continue to pray for this point this evening. And may God bless us as we come together in prayer. Amen.